All right, guys, good morning. So let's do the review for yesterday, June 14, 2023. Yesterday was a day when um, we had a really packed agenda. You can see here, this is inflation data coming out, X230 CET, which is an hour before the US open. This is gold, by the way, on a 10 minute chart. Right? So I'm reviewing all the futures for now. And then later on here at 8 p.m. CT, that's when Powell had his press conference. Well, actually, it was, no, sorry, it was the um, interest rate decision or FOMC meetings. And I think the press conference started half an hour after that. Let me just double check. Yeah, see 8.30 press conference and then interest rate decision was at 8 p.m. CT, so two hours before the close. And what did I say yesterday? You might not want to trade the market, right? And if you look at this, yeah, there's there's no way to do anything meaningful here, right? You get a big instant reaction for the inflation data, and then you get chop, and then eventually you get the interest rate decision and it goes down, and then it comes back up, etc. It's just not tradable, right? So we don't really need to look into this that much. Right? Situational awareness is key successful trading and situational awareness mostly also means to stand on the sidelines when the conditions are just not right those conditions are very much influenced by the agenda of macro news coming out and scheduled events let's take a look at the es and see if that made you know anything of a difference um you can see a very similar picture here so going into the open there was a very, very thin volume, right? Then you have the open right here. Got a bit of, um, bit of a push up here. You might also get like a first signal down here, but there's no follow through, right? And again, having that, you know, situation awareness, you shouldn't really do anything. There's not so nothing to the downside here because we're all about this red line at 10 simple moving average. We only look at Broad trades as we close below it and then take out, you know, a previous low and also have increasing volume. So there's nothing to do here. Um, and again, having the awareness just means, you know, the, the market is going to wait until the interest rate decision comes out. And the same thing happens here as a whole. And it's interesting because it's going the exact same way. It's going down. Um, there's nothing you can really do with this. And then you get an immediate page to the upside. And then the market just drops around a little bit more, right? So I mean, we we can look at all of these. I uh, the only the only thing I can say is yesterday was not a not not not, not a day to trade. It's just there's no way, right? Even though you might get some setups here, um, you know, at some point in in all this, you know, this mess. Let's just call it that. But um. Don't take those setups. It doesn't make any, any sense. It's better to just stay away. That's one of the hardest things for a lot of newbie traders to do is not to do anything because they have FOMO, fear of missing out. And that's just what it is. So I'm just going to flip through them. There's really not much to comment. I mean, look at this, right? Look at the Dow. It's inflation data. Then it goes to bed, right? Doesn't do anything until the interest rate decision comes out. Big move down. It's no follow through, no nothing. Massive candle, right? So if you if you have a proper setup, you will take massive candles into consideration because that's an exhaustion of the market that might take place here. Not always, but the, the probabilities are there. They are probably above fifty percent. If you want to always trade with probabilities, right? then you get a fade, and then it goes down again halfway, and then it chops around. Russell. Questions? No. Terrible, terrible. You just can't do anything with ducks. Well, ducks opened uh, much earlier, obviously, right, than the US markets do. We, um, we opened six and a half hours before the US markets. So if you took that as an opportunity in ducks yesterday, then that was, that was the only way to make some money. Um, you know, you can ask the question, does money move around the globe and just say, you know what, the U.S. will have a chop session 
let's look for something else. Oh, you know, let's look at the European session because that opens six and a half hours before we do. And it's still five hours ahead of, or five and a half hours ahead of um, when inflation data comes out. So we, we have like five and a half hours of trading here, right? And this is probably a reason, potential reason, why you can also get a trend here. And this is a beautiful trend. And this is your your setup going into the open here at nine o'clock. If you don't want to trade the open, by the way, you can also wait until a little bit later, but you will miss a bit of the move here. Because the first one that qualifies for another setup is this candle pair right here. Okay. Because we close above the high of this previous candle. We then have follow through that looks good. So we stay in the trade, right? And then we collect one R and just draw that here. Yeah, this here. This here. This here. And then one R gets reached very quickly. You can see that here. And that's also pretty good play if that one. If you trail this with the 10 cent moving average, you put your stock right here. And then you get stopped out for another, let's say, 30% of the position. 50% you already took off at one hour profit. And then the rest, you know, like 20%, you can just leave them at break even and just wait and see how this unfolds. But obviously, it came back down later on. And then you would have probably slipped out there. And so this is basically like the entire day. So only the open was interesting here. But again, if you don't like to trade the opening candle because open candles can fade very often you have to wait until this but this was was all right this way. then later on yeah we are also waiting for the us to do something but the thing is we basically close the ducks at um, at 5 30 you see this this one big um, volume bar here and then we go to sleep and then obviously later on we have to price in the fomc decision right um, or the interest rate decision rather and then we wake up again, then we go back to bed. And then finally, oil. <laughs> Let's just take a look at oil here from yesterday. And I'm also just looking at, you know, the, the, where, where, where we finally get some volume. Uh, okay. Maybe not even here, but, you know, we can really get something going here. Um, probably also not really an ideal day here in, in oil. I mean, you, you can get. And that's also not a setup as we took at the high. Then we get long, long weeks here. You know, it's 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 tough to find a proper entry here. Yeah. That's that's not easy. So I think oil also didn't didn't offer much yesterday. They're all connected. They're all connected. Yeah. It's just what it is. It's even in oil here at 8 p.m. when when the interest rate decision comes out, there's also reaction here, right? In volume. All right, that's basically it. I, I just wanted to keep this review pretty short because, again, nothing really did yesterday. Just, just watch and learn and, and stay away from trying to trade it. What is on the agenda today? I'll look at this in the morning meeting and then also look at the conversion parts. So stay, stay with this channel, right? And, um, Watch the other video as well. All right, take care and talk to you soon. Bye bye.